दोस्तों मैं रोहित कुमार एवनीशो की ओर से आपका स्वागत करता हूं नेक्स्ट सोर्स ऑफ लॉ इज लेजिस्लेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस प्रेसिडेंट जुडिशियल प्रेसिडेंट नाउ विल बिगिन विद लेजिस्लेशन आई विल स्टार्ट विद द मीनिंग ऑफ लेजिस्लेशन नाउ इन द कॉमन यूज लेजिस्लेशन मीन द मेकिंग ऑफ लॉ मेकिंग ऑफ लॉ लेजिस्लेशन क्या होता है बहुत सिंपल चीज है मेकिंग ऑफ लॉ बट इफ यू गो टू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ दिस वर्ड लेजिस्लेशन इट मींस समथिंग इट मींस द लेजिस्लेशन मींस द प्रोमलगेशन ऑफ लीगल रूल्स बाय एन अथॉरिटी व्हिच हैज द पावर टू डू सो प्रोमलगेशन ऑफ अ लीगल रूल by an authority who has a power to do so now does it mean that power to make a rule also lies with the executive we all know that legislatures make law that is true but is it that the executive also make rules what do you say about that who will answer that sir executive can make rules okay but does that come within the meaning of the term legislation mm, not strictly but to a certain extent no no either yes or no sir dekho black and white mein bole to no and if i say that in black and white yes so then you have to enlighten us yes absolutely see what happens is that sometimes parliament delegates its law making power to some other authority now the definition says that legislation is a rule promulgated by an authority who has a power to do so when the parliament itself is delegating that power then the authority has a power to make law right so executive in its capacity as delegate of parliament can certainly make law that is also known as delegated legislation so So, judiciary also in some sense make law in which sense when judiciary promulgates rules about its own procedure that is law making by the judiciary legislation made by the judiciary so in india the theory of separation of power has never been taken in its strict sense in which the montesquieu had propounded it montesquieu was a french philosopher somebody who gave the theory of separation of power and uh, his writings was uh, were so influential which led to the french revolution in 1789 so legislation means a promulgation of a legal rule by an authority who has a power to do so in its ordinary sense legislation may also include the law made by any source in ordinary sense legislation may include law made by any source such as judicial precedent such as customs such as conventional law etc and sometimes the term legislation is used to include every expression of the will of the legislature such, such as declaration of war and peace etc so sometimes the term legislation includes everything every will of the legislature whether it lays down a legal rule or something else such as the declaration of war or peace with another state or ratifying a treaty with a foreign state now let me ask you a question do you really believe that every will of the legislature is, is a legislation first whether uh, it is making a rule or declaration of war and peace or ratifying a treaty with foreign nation do you think that is legislation every will of the legislature is not a legislation ratifying a treaty with a foreign nation has never been a legislation declaration of war and peace likewise is not a legislation but yes making rule by a legislature in a parliament is legislation so when we use the term legislation as a source of law we mean law making by a defined person or body of persons when we use the term legislation uska matlab kya hota hai law making by defined person it may be executive or body of persons that means it may be a parliament we don't take legislation as a customary law or maybe conventional law or judicial precedent or judicial decision that is not a legislation that cannot be legislation. in england distinction is made between statutory law or written law and the common you know that common law is a judge made law and mostly it is followed in england and uh, statutory law and codified law or written law is passed in a parliament and there is a distinction between both of them and in england that distinction is made even more clearly only the written law or statutory law is known as legislation there in england why because they don't treat customary law unwritten law judge made law as a legislation in india however there is no common law yes we did follow common law principles came from english jurisprudence but today we are not a common law country because most of our law has been codified except few of them like law of torts some principles of customary law that have not been codified but mostly our law today is codified including a constitution because constitution you know is the largest 
written document in the world so our constitution is a written document whereas the british constitution is an unwritten document it is a judge made constitution altogether in india legislation or the enacted law can be distinguished from customary law or personal law in modern times legislation has become perhaps the most important source of law and that is why analytical jurists like john austin jeremy bentham hans kelsen they argued that legislation is always superior to judicial precedent a statute is made they say after due deliberation they say that austin kelsen jeremy bentham hart they say that स्टैच्यूट इज मेड इन अ पार्लियामेंट बाय ड्यू डेलीब्रेशन उस पर बहुत ज्यादा विचार होता है विचार विमर्श होता है तो लॉ वैसे बनाया जाता है इट इज नॉट मेड इन देस्ट इन विच अ जज डिस्पोजेज ऑफ हिज केसेस तो कोर्ट में क्या होता है कि जल्दी 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 केसेस को डिस्पोज कर दिया जाता है तो वहां पे किसी लॉ पे बहुत ज्यादा विचार विमर्श नहीं होता है इसीलिए स्टैच्यूटरी लॉ पर मोर सुपीरियर देर आर other grounds also which have been given in the support of the superiority of the legislation you, you know that legislation makes law certain ha ek bar law parliament mein pass ho gaya to you know what is law in certainty legislation makes law clear you know that legislation once passed in the parliament it it makes law clear more often than not legislation makes law comprehensive in nature once passed you know what are the rules you know what are the explanations of that you know how that is illustrated by the parliament you also know their explanations etc so legislation makes law comprehensive legislations makes law also very easily accessible aapko koi bhi law chahiye bear act mil jayega aur ab to google pe har bear act aapko easily अवेलेबल होगा गूगल पे नहीं गूगल सर्च के थ्रू बहुत आराम से कोई भी बेर एक्ट आप गवर्नमेंट की वेबसाइट से डाउनलोड कर सकते हो यहाँ तक कि कई सारी वेबसाइट्स पे भी बेर एक्ट मिल जाएंगे लाइक लाइव लॉ है मनु पात्रा है देर आर सो मेनी साइट टूडे ट्रूथ इज दैट लेजिस्लेशन मेक्स लॉ इजिली एक्सेबल फॉर द पीपल लेजिस्लेशन पास थ्रू द स्क्रूटनी ऑफ अ ग्रेट नंबर ऑफ पीपल बिफोर इट बिकम्स लॉ आपको मालूम है एक पार्लियामेंट में दो हाउसेस होते हैं अपर हाउस एंड लोअर हाउस हमारे पार्लियामेंट में भी दो हैं स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर्स भी अलग से हैं पार्लियामेंट की बात कर लें तो वी हैव गॉट 793 लेजिस्लेचर्स हु मेक लॉ दे स्क्रूटनाइज लॉ दे डिबेट अपॉन अ लॉ बट केस लॉ इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द विम ऑफ सर्टन इंडिविजुअल्स नोन एज जजेस a planned progress of society is possible only through the statutory law they say that if you want a planned progress of the society that is only possible through to the statutory law not by the judicial precedent because it is never planned so that is analytical jurist that is the view of the analytical jurists now in opposition to this view of the analytical jurists there are certain jurists who belong to the natural law school salmon and gray now they say that legislation is not superior it cannot be superior salmon is the great supporter of case law and he has presented a very weighty grounds in the support of his argument so salmon and gray they say that case law causes an organic development of law theek hai case law se law apne aap develop hota hai organic development uski hai usko aapko parliament ke through guzarna nahi hai pure law ko bahut hypothetical situations nahi hoti aur real cases mein banta hai judicial precedent jo law banta hai na wo real cases mein banta hai hypothetical situation lekin legislation mein hypothetical situations bahut hote hain and case law can adapt law to the changing conditions of the society the matter which receives so much calm and patient consideration in court that cannot receive the same by the busy legislatures to koi bhi matter jitna patiently court mein suna jata hai utna attention usko parliament mein nahi milta parliament they, they are busy legislatures be busy people aur wo to hame pata hai dekhiye ek parliament kitna function karti hai you know it functions less than 100 days in a year and if you take the indian conditions we are a population of 140 crore people more than that and you know that it is not possible it is not feasible that the parliament or even state legislatures can make law for every situation every condition you have to delegate that power to somebody who perhaps have expertise perhaps have more time to do that perhaps who can experiment with the law so who does that the expertise such as you know banking laws can be passed by rbi then space law can be passed by the research organization isro huh? but 
इन द केस ऑफ केस लॉ जुडिशियल प्रेसिडेंट इट इज नॉट सो जब जब मैटर कोर्ट के पास आएगा वो तब तब आपको डिसाइड करके देंगे और दैट इज हाउ दे से दैट इट कॉजेज एन ऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ इन द केस लॉ केस लॉ इज मोर प्रैक्टिकल बिकॉज इट इज लेट डाउन आफ्टर अ केयरफुल स्टडी ऑफ केसेस एंड वेरियस सरकमस्टांसिस तो केस लॉ प्रैक्टिकल होता है केस लॉ में जब कोई डिसीजन देता है कोर्ट वो केसेस की स्टडी करके सरकमस्टांसिस को अंडरस्टैंड करके फिर देगा वेर एज द स्टैचुटरी लॉ इज ऑफ एन एबस्ट्रैक्ट नेचर इट इज ऑफ अ रिजिड नेचर एक बार बन गया तो वो पचास साल भी उसमें अमेंडमेंट आने की कोई गारंटी नहीं होती है Selman is a great supporter of case law. He argues that case law with all its imperfection has at least this merit that it remains in living contact with the reason and justice of the matter. So case law kya hai? Case law ki achhi baat ye hai ki yahan pe jo law banta hai that is made by applying justice and reason and it draws from this source flexibility and power of growth and adaptation. Which are too much wanting in the case of legislation or maybe enacted law. So, so यहाँ पे justice होने का chance ज़्यादा है और reason के according justice होगा और ये flexible होगा. इसमें growth की power बहुत ज़्यादा है. Adaptation बहुत easily possible है. जो कि legislation में आपको नहीं मिलेगा. So there is another scholar, another jurist, Gray, and he is also a supporter of the case law. Perhaps he supports that much more forcefully than the settlement. According to Gray, case law is not only superior to statutory law, but all the law is judge-made law, and there is nothing called a legislation. He says, in truth, all the law is judge-made law. The shape in which a statutory law is imposed on the community as guide for conduct is that statute as interpreted by the court. He says that the shape in which law is implemented on the community is imposed on the community. वो तभी इम्पोज हो सकता है जब उस पर कोर्ट की जज की इंटरप्रिटेशन आती है हालांकि ये व्यू बहुत सही व्यू है नहीं ये भी मैं आपको बता दूं कई बार लॉ इंप्लीमेंट होता है इवन विदाउट द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द जजेस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इंटरप्रिटेशन का क्वेश्चन तो तब आता है जब कोर्ट में उसको कोई चैलेंज करता है अदरवाइज इट गेट्स इंप्लीमेंटेड विदाउट द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द कोर्ट सो ग्रेस इज दैट कोर्ट एक्चुअली पुट्स लाइफ इन द डेड वर्ड ऑफ द स्टैचू कुछ हद तक ये सच हो सकता है ये स्टेटमेंट सच हो सकता है सो द सपोर्टर्स ऑफ बोथ द व्यूज लाइक वन सपोर्टेड लेजिस्लेशन सुपीरियोरिटी ऑफ द लेजिस्लेशन इट इज अनदर सपोर्टेड सुपीरियोरिटी ऑफ द केस लॉ बोथ द व्यूज मेड एग्जेजरेशन इट इज ड्यू टू देयर डिफरेंसेस अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ लॉ दे मेड दैट एग्जेजरेशन एंड दे हैव स्पोकन ऑफ द सुपीरियोरिटी ऑफ वन लॉ ओवर द अदर ऑन दैट बेसिस बिकॉज उन्होंने क्यों ऐसा बोला किसी की डेफिनेशन है लॉ इज कमांड ऑफ द सॉवरन तो वो कहां से आएगी सॉवरन से आएगी वो रिटर्न फॉर्म में आएगी अनदर से लॉ इज नथिंग बट जस्टिस इक्विटी एंड गुड कॉन्शियस तो जस्टिस कौन करेगा जज करेगा तो इट इज द डेफिनेशन गिवन बाय देम दैट स्पीक्स अबाउट द सुपीरियोरिटी ऑफ वन लॉ ओवर द अदर इन द प्रेजेंट एज बोथ आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द वन कैन नॉट अटेन इट्स एंड वन कैन नॉट अटेन इट्स purposes without the other the aim of law is the progress of the society it is the protection of the society and the, it is there is the purpose of the progress of the individuals also for a planned progress of the society legislation is very very important but in order to interpret it and apply it or to adapt it to the particular case case law also is equally necessary thus both case law and legislations are complementary and supplementary to each other and they contribute equally to the development of law i stop here for 2 minutes dosto is tarah ke video ko banane mein kafi samay mehnat aur resources lagta hai aap apna valuable feedback zarur share kare taki abnisio team ko protsahan mile tatha aapke dwara diye gaye feedback par kaam karke aur informative videos aap tak laya ja sake please like the video subscribe the channel and share the video with needy one supreme legislation and subordinate legislation rohit yeah i'll i'll discuss with you the difference between supreme legislation and subordinate legislation the power of legislation vests everybody knows with the sovereign authority of a political community and which is that sovereign authority anybody could be a sovereign authority of a political state you know in england it is a crown in india all the laws are made in the name of the president but president is never a sovereign in india constitution is sovereign in india so validity of the law will be tested as per the constitutional law of the country whereas in some other countries the sovereign authority could be a dictator 
in other countries it could be a military ruler i mean you don't know anybody could be a sovereign authority of the political community and it has a power to make the legislation legislation may be of two kinds direct or indirect legislation legislation is direct when the sovereign authority itself makes the law obviously if the sovereign authority directly makes a law it is a direct legislation such as the law made by the indian parliament it is a direct legislation and legislation is indirect when the sovereign authority delegates powers to any other authority to make law such as the power delegated to a corporation to make law power delegated to universities to make law hamari dio ko power kahan se mili hai parliament se mili hai bhai rbi ko power kahan se mili hai railway ko railway ko power kahan se milti hai parliament se milti hai so that is indirect legislation that is a that is an example of indirect legislation direct legislation is also known as supreme legislation whereas the indirect legislation is known as subordinate legislation so supreme legislation to we know that it is made by the parliament and none else because parliament exercises sovereignty on behalf of the people of india which has been given by the constitution to the indian people so it exercises sovereignty on behalf of the people here so we don't need to discuss much about that we'll discuss subordinate legislations here so subordinate legislation is legislation by any other authority than the supreme authority in the state that is parliament so other than the parliament if any other person makes a law it is subordinate legislation if any other body of persons makes a law it is subordinate legislation. so subordinate legislation is made under the powers delegated by तो सुप्रीम अथॉरिटी तो अगर पार्लियामेंट ने पावर दी है तो जो कानून वो अथॉरिटी बनाएगी उसे सबॉर्डिनेट लेजिस्लेशन कहते हैं सच लेजिस्लेशन ओज इट्स एग्जिस्टेंस टू द पार्लियामेंट ऐसा लेजिस्लेशन जो कि पार्लियामेंट ने कहा है बनाने के लिए किसी भी अथॉरिटी को वो एग्जिस्ट करेगा तब तक जब तक पार्लियामेंट रहेगी सच लेजिस्लेशन ओज इट्स वैलिडिटी टू द पार्लियामेंट जब तक पार्लियामेंट चाहेगी तब तक वैलिड रहेगा सच लेजिस्लेशन ओज इट्स कंटिन्यूएंस टू द supreme authority that is parliament subordinate legislation may be divided under following classes and first is autonomous law aapko malum hai kuch laws kuch authorities kuch bodies autonomous hoti hai jaise delhi university is an autonomous body so law made by such a body is an autonomous law so when the supreme authority confers power upon a group of individuals to legislate on the matter interested to them as a group the law made by such group is called autonomous law or autonomic law and the body is known as autonomous body so railway authority maine bola autonomous body hai delhi university autonomous body hai rbi autonomous body hai isro autonomous body hai so these are examples of autonomous body so such autonomous body makes by laws for the regulations of its administration तो ये हुआ ऑटोनोमस बॉडी के एग्जांपल्स। नाउ यू हैव जुडिशियल रूल्स मैंने आपको थोड़ा सा अभी बताया था कि सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर की थ्योरी हम स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो नहीं करते और इसीलिए जुडिशरी के पास भी कुछ लॉ मेकिंग रूल मेकिंग पावर्स होती है और वो कहां से डेलीगेट हुई होती है डायरेक्टली तो पार्लियामेंट ने नहीं डेलीगेट की होती है वो आती है उनके पास कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन से बिकॉज कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हेयर इज सुप्रीम लॉ so powers are also given to the judicature to make rules for the regulation of its procedure in india the supreme court and the high courts both have the power to make rules for their respective procedures and administration so that is the example of judicial rules here i stop for a moment so third is local law this is also a subordinate legislation now local bodies such as corporations are given powers to make by laws concerning their own local matters by law made by a local body operates within its respective locality only jaise delhi mein law banata hai mcd to wo usi locality delhi delhi tak hi kaam karega ncr tak bhi nahi delhi tak hi in india such local bodies are municipal corporations municipal bodies zila parishads etc today there is a move for granting very wide powers to panchayats also तो पंचायत के पास भी पंचायती राज में अच्छी खासी पावर सभी मिली हुई है लोकल बॉडीज दस देर इज अबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सपेंशन ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ सबॉर्डिनेट लेजिस्लेशन इन इंडिया नाउ वी हैव गॉट अनदर सबॉर्डिनेट लेजिस्लेशन दैट इज कलोनियल लॉ बट नाउ कॉलोनीज हैव बीन मोस्टली अबॉलिश्ड नाइनटी नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट कॉलोनीज हैव बीन अबॉलिश्ड 
and uh, there are no colonial laws as such earlier what used to happen is that the law for the colonies used to be passed in the parliaments of the parent state like british parliament french parliament dutch parliament because only england did not have colonies but other countries also had colonies including portugal and spain also so there they used to pass a law and that used to be adopted as far as india is concerned the law colonial laws used to be adopted by governor general in council in india so suffice it to discuss to this extent only se jada colonial rule ko explain karne ki zarurat nahi hai kyunki wo ab exist bhi nahi karte in india mein right so finally we'll discuss executive made law aur ye sabse bada part hai subordinate legislation ka ya delegated legislation a government consists of three branches of the organs pehla legislature dusra executive aur teesra hai judiciary you know that the function of the legislature is to make law in the parliament function of the judiciary is to administer justice in the country and function of the executive is to execute laws or in other words to run the administration of the country these three organs of the country may be separate and independent of each other iska acha example hai usa usa mein kafi had the judicial organs are separate they are independent of each other judiciary executive and legislature sometimes these powers may vest in one and the same persons such as kim jong un in south korea usse bada law koi nahi hai so it may vest in some one one particular person sometimes it may vest in a body of persons to hamare yahan स्ट्रिक्ट सेंस में कभी भी सेपरेशन ऑफ पावर की थ्योरी को नहीं एक्सेप्ट किया जाता जैसे कि हमारे यहाँ जो लेजिस्लेचर्स है एग्जीक्यूटिव भी वही है दे दे आर मिनिस्टर्स राइट हालांकि जुडिशरी इंडिपेंडेंट है बट मिनिस्टर्स जो हैं वो लेजिस्लेचर्स है और लेजिस्लेचर्स जो हैं वो मिनिस्टर्स है in some countries all the three powers are separate and independent of each other in some other countries such as countries who are having parliamentary form of democracy like india legislatures and executive are not separate from each other they are not independent of each other india mein wo independent nahi hai wo separate nahi hai this executive organ in a state in a country in addition to its usual function of administration does some law making task also this too is a kind of subordinate legislation ye bahut bada part hai subordinate legislation ka isi ko actually delegated legislation kehte hain power to the executive is delegated by the legislature by the parliament in modern times it has become almost inevitable kyunki government ke functions bahut bade hue hain yaad rakhiyega government ko itne sare functions perform karne padte hain government ko public employment ko bhi regulate karna hai industries bhi establish karni hai मेडिकल कॉलेजेस भी स्टैब्लिश करने हैं हॉस्पिटल्स भी स्टैब्लिश करने हैं बहुत सारे काम होते हैं सोशल सिक्योरिटी को भी देखना है तो क्या करेंगे पार्लियामेंट कैन नॉट मेक लॉ इन एवरी फील्ड इट हैज टू डेलीगेट सम पावर्स टू द एग्जीक्यूटिव द लेजिस्लेटिव बॉडी इन एक्ट द फंडामेंटल लॉ ओनली तो क्या करता है पार्लियामेंट ऐसा नहीं है कि उनको जस्ट बोल दिया कि आप लॉ बनाइए नहीं लॉ का जो मेन फ्रेमवर्क होता है दैट इज मेड बाय द पार्लियामेंट इट इज नोन एज फंडामेंटल्स एंड द गवर्नमेंट और एग्जीक्यूटिव डिपार्टमेंट्स को गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स कहेंगे मेनली गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स सप्लीमेंटेड विथ डिटेल्स तो गवर्नमेंट डिपार्टमेंट क्या कर, करता है कि उसमें डिटेल्स बनाता है जैसे रूल्स रेगुलेशन ऑर्डर्स एंड बाय लॉज आर पास बाय द गवर्नमेंट बट मेन लॉ इज पास बाय the parliament in certain cases the executive decides issues also kai baar aapne dekha na cat central administrative tribunals labor labor tribunals usme kya sab judges hote hain kya nahi so they also decide some issues they also decide some disputes this kind of subordinate legislation is known as delegated legislation also today it is assuming a very important place for some time now फॉर सम सेवेंटी एटी ईयर्स याद रखिएगा कि हमारे इंडिया में इंडिपेंडेंट से पहले से ही डेलीगेटेड लेजिस्लेशन बनते रहे हैं बट इन रिसेंट ईयर्स इट इज अज्यूमिंग वेरी ग्रेट प्लेस इन द इंडियन लॉ तो ये है आपके लिए लेजिस्लेशन तो लेजिस्लेशन पे मुझे आपको इतना ही बताना था इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी देन वी कैन डिस्कस दोस्तों इस तरह के वीडियो को बनाने में काफी समय मेहनत और रिसोर्सेस लगता है आप अपना वेल्यूबल फीडबैक जरूर शेयर करें ताकि एबनीसियो टीम को प्रोत्साहन मिले तथा आपके द्वारा दिए गए फीडबैक पर काम करके और इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोस आप तक लाया जा सके यदि आपको यह वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड शेयर दीडियो विद नीडी वन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग वीडियो थैंक्स अलॉट